These are gonna be the cranberry pistachio biscotti. We're keeping it with the Christmas tradition. Usually we do them with almonds, roasted almonds, but uh, trying to keep with the Christmas uh, theme, we will be replacing the almonds with pistachios and cranberries. So this is gonna be made as a log and then we'll be slicing them. So it'll be a real type of coffee biscuit, a biscotti. So what we started off with is two cups of sifted flour and we're gonna be doing this in a power mixer because the dough ends up getting very tough and it's, it's gonna be hard, exactly dense. Hard to work with a hand mixer. Um, okay enough if you just have your hands, but we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna be using my KitchenAid here and we put the hook really like a dough batter. So this will help us once it's fully combined and the rest we do with our hands right. because the only wet ingredient in here is your eggs. eggs. So it ends up being a harder cookie, hence the biscotti, a coffee cookie. So we're going to add, what are you adding now? The Whatever baking? you tell me. Okay. <laughs> the half a teaspoon of salt. Sure. Like, like so. There we go. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah. A cup and a half of sugar. Perfect. And we're gonna lightly combine all the ingredients together on low speed. I'm not putting the lid, so we're really gonna do it on low speed. If not, it's gonna be all over the room here. <laughs> and then one and down. There you go. Just go in. You read my mind. There you go. Over the Grab spatula. What was on the side. We'll do that one last little bit of time. In the meantime, I'm going to start cracking the eggs. To be calls for three eggs. There you go. On low speed, and we start. Okay, so we're not beating them first. We're just putting them in. Put them in line. That's two. That's my bad. I forgot to beat them, but we usually My bad! <laughs> but it's okay. It's all, it's all gonna get mixed up. It's all relative. There you go. <laughs> as long as you incorporate it well, or like my father used to say, it's all going to the same place, so it's all good. Or like I used to hear growing up, how, how it comes, it's good. That's right. So we're just gonna wait for the flour to really incorporate with the egg, and then we'll increase it a little bit. And once at least it's combined enough, you'll see that it'll just clump up and start to circle. And that's when you'll finish the rest by hand. And we're almost there. But before that, we're gonna have to add in the cranberries and the pistachios. Yeah. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of almond extract. Just gives that delicious biscotti flavor. Classic, classic flavor. Perfect. So those are basically your wet ingredients. The almond extract and your and the eggs. three eggs. That's all. And this comes to a nice sticky dough again, you'll see. It almost comes to um, the consistency like a, an almond paste. Yeah. I just want to grab what's on the side here. Yeah. Oh my God, that almond it extract smells, smells so, so good. good. <laughs> I'm just going to use this powder like that. I know. Like, not good, not good. Don't do it. So we're gonna add the one cup of uh, cranberries and one cup of pistachios. You can chop them up roughly if you want. We're leaving them whole. We find it looks nice um, when you cut uh, cut the log. And as you're slicing it, when it's sem semi-hot, uh, you're gonna see that you're slicing basically for the pistachios. There you go. We're gonna mix this on low, just Always so that it combines. Exactly. Always on low yeah. speed. And this is a beautiful Christmas themed biscotti log that we'll be slicing into coffee cookies. Yeah, it just needs to mix like a minute, not more than a minute. So we're gonna lightly flour our kneading board here so that we can roll out our tumbaño. Our tumbaño. Slightly such flour on your mm -hmm. hands so that nothing really sticks here. And you're just slightly forming it into. You don't have to roll this, knead this. There's no, 
yeast in here where you have to work anything. You just want to lightly roll it and shape it. It should come like to about maybe 12 inches long, 12 to 14 into the shape that you want. Bring this on. Lots. There we go. Our cookie sheet here and any other little adjusting you can do on the cookie sheet. So of course, you know the biscotti. Biscotti, they're gonna be baked twice. First as a log, then we take them out, and with a serrated knife, we're gonna cut them. Now, all we have to do is put the egg wash on top. Going into the oven, preheated to 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes or till it's golden brown. We take it out. We cool for about 10 minutes and then we're going to slice them and back in the, into the oven they go. Uh, the biscottis are done and they have been fully, fully cooled. So as my mom explained, we bake them twice, right? Exactly. And only once fully cooled, you find your choice of serrated knife, a bread knife. We're going to try either or and we'll see which one cuts it the best without, you know, breaking it. And it might break a little bit, but just to show you, okay. And we're gonna be slicing, we'll slice one at a time, but it is fully cooled, but still soft. And that's a perfect gift to say that it'll cut nicely without a full dry crumble. I usually cut them on a diagonal, but if you wanna cut them straight, that's totally up to you. They'll be going back in the oven. Um, for how long? For about, uh, I would say 10 minutes, all depending on your oven. Yeah, it's just so that they get a little bit more golden brown. Again, we're looking for that dark, crisp biscotti, but not a burnt one. So you want to pay attention. This last little bit is just so that they get a little bit more golden uh, brown, a little bit more drier, um, because it's a dipping coffee biscuit. Well, my mom's cutting. How beautiful these are. Just gonna do the second log and both in the oven again. And as you can see, the biscotti are perfectly nice and dry. I'm gonna show you here and here. A beautiful biscotti. This is exactly what you're looking for. Glistening, shiny on top, nice and crisp. My mother will be placing them on a cooling rack to, uh, to cool off. And that's it. Thank you. Goodbye. Stay tuned for more mother and daughter baking on Love What You Eat.